Welcome back to the story of Liberty. This is John Bona. Have you ever heard of the Sons of Liberty? An organization of American patriots. This group was formed to protect the rights of Americans, the rights of the colonists who took to the streets against the abuses of the British government. They were best known for their undertaking of the Boston Tea Party in 1773 in defiance of the Tea Act taxes. Taxes without representation, which led to the intolerable acts. This was an intense crackdown by the British government upon the patriots, upon the Americans, and the Sons of Liberty would not stand down. In 1765, almost all the American cities saw some formation, ultimately, of the Sons of Liberty, including Samuel Adams. And there were ordinary merchants and tradesmen and other professionals as well. They were loyal to the cause of liberty. Holy Liberty is called by Patrick Henry, who was also a member. The Sons of Liberty were well known throughout the colonies. Everyone knew who they were. Actually, what came out of that was the Liberty Tree and the Liberty Pole. This great organization, these Sons of Liberty, their motto became no taxation without representation. These taxes, the Stamp Act of 1765, it just created a firestorm within the bellies of the Sons of Liberty. It started in Virginia and then in Massachusetts. These threats, these taxes, much like we're having today with our new health care tax. This group of men known as the Sons of Liberty would stand up against taxes without representation. And it spread throughout New York and Boston, New Hampshire and Newport, Rhode Island. Everywhere you would look, you would see the Sons of Liberty. Several members of the Sons of Liberty were printers and publishers and in the media, and they distributed articles about the meetings and demonstrations that the Sons of Liberty held. The Sons of Liberty would get together and decide what candidates to support. Those candidates would ultimately bring liberty to America. They wanted more action than just words. In New York City, the Sons of Liberty would put up liberty poles to stand as a testament to their resolve. The British soldiers, they would tear them down as soon as they would, they would be put back up. Back and forth it went, and skirmishes eventually came about. Some members of the Sons of Liberty were Samuel Adams, John Hancock, Patrick Henry, Paul Revere, Benjamin Rush, names that you recognize. These men stood for the holy cause of liberty. Sons and daughters of liberty, we can restore freedom and prosperity in our nation if we will only voluntarily return to those eternal principles of right, those laws given at Mount Sinai, and hold our representatives accountable to limit their jurisdiction to the protection of our God-given rights, not the limitation or interpretation of them. American history shows the proof as clear as the light of the morning. There is soul and life and the spirit of liberty and the sons and daughters of America. Now is the time to show your love for it, protect it, and stand up as one for liberty. 
Today, Sons of Liberty, awaken. It's our turn. You are living now. The torch of the flame of liberty rests in our hands. It's time to send a message that liberty is not just for the writers and the speakers and the politicians. Liberty is God's idea. Christ himself, he came to set the captives free. Liberty is our homes, our families, our children, our grandchildren. Liberty is our lives, and we will defend it. It's not only our God-given duty to defend it, it's our God-given right. Friends, we could change America for good. Don't give up. And so if it does happen one day that your children or grandchildren ask the question, where were you when America was losing its liberty? What were you doing? What were you doing when America became a godless nation? When America was taxed into oblivion? What did you do to stop that? I believe you will have a good answer. May our children and grandchildren record that when all seemed lost, when our liberty seemed lost, that their parents, their grandparents, their brothers and sisters, they gave their all for the gospel of liberty and the glory of God.